So now let's see how we can align object on surface with the help of 3D cursor. So over here you can see that I have uh, this cube right here. So if I were to go into 3D cursor and left click over here, you can see that it sits on top of surface. So you can also go over here onto tool and make sure that the orientation is in geometry to make sure that it is on top of the surface right here. So if you want to align another object, I'm going to press shift A and then once I go to mesh, you can see that there's different objects that I can choose. So I'm just going to go around and choose Taurus and what happens is that it is on top of this surface as you can see. So I can go around and then if I were to go to align and choose 3D cursor, then it'll align to the object. But over here, since I have uh, uh, a straight object that is a flat object, you don't really see the difference. So I'm just going to go around and delete this and I'm going to go around, select the 3D cursor and click over here so that it actually stays in the center just like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift A and then I'm going to select a spear uh, element right here. So once I select the spear element and uh, if I were to make sure that the orientation is in geometry, I can select the surface area as you can see. And then the direction of the 3D cursor changes as well. So now what I'm going to press is Shift A and over here I'm going to select let's say for example Taurus and you can see that this is how it seems at the moment. But if I were to go over here uh, and what you have to make sure is that after you make an object uh, this will disappear if you were to click somewhere else. So you have to create a new object if you um, were accidentally to uh, click somewhere else. So now I'm going to go to align and instead of world I'm going to choose 3D cursor and you can see that that is what it aligned itself to it. So it aligned itself to this object right here and it seems like a hel halo right there. So just like that, you can go around with the objects right here, uh, work around with the details as you can see, and then make sure that it is aligned right over here. And that is how you can align objects on to surface with the help of 3D cursor inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.